Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. And today I definitely have something obscure that I absolutely need to bring to your attention. So a while back I was talking with my brother Sparkle Trout and he was lamenting the fact that, you know, there weren't any real decent knights on the tabletop. Now, I mean, obviously we have the Perry stuff and I find them quite nice and the piece in the middle currently at this moment as I'm speaking doesn't have much to do with them, but we'll get there if you catch my drift. So, these to him, at least, are just too dainty, too small, too delicate, too human looking. And then that's when we stumbled upon a set of models from Adam and Arsenal. Now, Adam and Arsenal had a really, really cool set we found on Colts 3D called the Ultimate Night Builder. Maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't, but it was jam-packed with a ridiculous, and I mean ridiculously gigantic pile of parts to build whatever kind of knights you felt like. And we were both like, oh, this is perfect, this is perfect. And then we forgot about it, and then we went to buy it, and it was gone. So we started to do our research, and then we stumbled upon this. So one of the guest modelers for the Maker's Cult one month was none other than Adam and Arsenal. And they were coming up with a very plague-ridden night with all sorts of various bits. And the interesting thing, which still has nothing to do with the model in front of us, because uh, I haven't printed that guy out, but we will certainly, and we'll get to him soon. So if you are a Maker's Cult member, you should be keeping your eyes out for that. Um... Adam and Arsenal ended up offering a sample model on my mini factory of a pumpkin Halloween version of one of their upcoming vile, disgusting plague knights. So you can see here he is quite bulbous and pustuly and he's got like stuff growing all over him and obviously with the pumpkin in his belly. Uh, his body is a single piece which is not that big a deal because actually we went and put together and got some of the Night Builder samples from Adam and Arsenal and thankfully a lot of those are going to be separate pieces and we'll get to those later. So anyway, the cool thing about this is all of Adam and Arsenal stuff is absolutely ridiculously modular. So this is just their freebie model but he offered up at least, oh, at least four or five options for the hands. Now I only printed up three and I know there were quite a few more. So we have like a, a bag of skulls or something. We've got a side. We've got the pitchfork. And then there were a few different head variations as well. But the interesting thing about these head variations is they're going to work with a lot of other 32 millimeter figures. So keep that in mind if you've got plenty of options. So I went with the scarecrow -y type head. And so... The cool thing is just how modular these guys are, and the reason I wanted to bring this to your attention is because Adam and Arsenal, number one, you can check these out for free, we'll put the link down below so you can give it a good look-see, uh, is going to be doing a Kickstarter in the very near future, at least as of the time of this filming, on making all sorts of vile and disgusting Plague Knights with just as many options, and when I say, <laughs> look at this, this is just crazy looking, so... I had a chance, I talked with them, and I got a couple of the sample models printed up prior to the Kickstarter, and you can guarantee I am absolutely going to be back in this, but if you dig your models to be disease-ridden disease and mutated, I think this is going to be right up your alley. Now, you'll notice that these bodies are quite similar in size, and yes, they are going to be absolutely compatible, so if you do end up when that Kickstarter drops being interested, that's already going to give you even more options to play around with. And when I say options, I, I'm, I'm really not kidding. Uh, so I started printing up some of their samples, as I said, of both the non-mutated and mutated variety. And let me just say, when I say with no exaggeration. This is just a mere fraction of the parts, number one, that I even got to print for sampling, but number two, there is an absolute ton of stuff. There are ranged weapons, there are mutant bits, there are great weapons, there are all sorts of shields, Shields with spikes. 
shields with strange growths. Giant claws. Tons and tons of swords. I barely actually printed any of the swords, and you can see I just keep throwing weapons down on the table here. And again, this is barely scratching the surface of what's available. So if this seems like something that you're going to be interested in, uh, by all means, I would suggest you hit those follow buttons and keep an eye on Adam and Arsenal stuff as well, because I certainly know I am going to be. And, you know, I'm going to have to get started printing here on some of the stuff. Never mind that, there's tons and tons of head options as well. And with the actual sets that they've made, and with what's coming on Kickstarter, you're going to have a lot of poseable options as well if you don't like the more static poses that these guys are in currently. I said some weird heads. Everybody likes weird heads. Shields with teeth. So I started actually putting some together and my hope is that by the time the Kickstarter shows up, I can actually get these painted. So I'm gonna start working on this, but look at this. I mean, this is great. They're big, they're chunky, and I was talking with Sparkle Trout. They are exactly what he wants in terms of big, thick night boys on the table. Now, obviously, they're going to be way too nicely dressed for something like Mordheim, but, you know, paladin units in mass battle games, mm, I could see that working. Big, chunky golden boys, well, you know, what, where was that head? In, like, that sunshiny head somewhere that I can't find now. Like it was here. You saw it, I hope, right? Actually, I was thinking some of their head options for the more normal ones, and when we can get them in focus, might be nice alternatives for Stormcast models. In fact, oh, I didn't even, I don't even have any of the range stuff printed up. There's giant crossbows, there's giant bows, there's lances, there's spears, there's halberds. Um, you know, and if you want to get into, like, more dynamic poses, you'll notice that he is a little bit more dynamic than the others. Uh, something to keep in mind. So I want you guys, if it seems like something you might be wanting to print, do keep an eye on things, because I know I am as well. And it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun parts, because I know some of the preview pictures I've seen, there are all kinds of craziness going on there with just crazy mutant growths popping out of every orifice. <laughs> extra bodies growing off their backs. And I guess if there was one nitpick I would have, it would be that there's not enough stuff to do with their backs. But then again, some of these guys are so heavily modified and messed up, like with this dude with all the blades sticking out of his back, uh, that might be kind of a challenge to get to. But who knows, maybe we'll see some bits there showing up. So, as I said, I'm going to put a link down below. You guys can take a look at that stuff yourself, and hopefully it is going to be something as much up your alley as it is mine. And like I said, I already primed them. As soon as I stop rambling on about this, I am going to run upstairs, and I'm going to start painting this. So I'm going to stop talking now, let you guys check that out, and I'm going to get to work. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye!